MMAfighting.com, and I am here with Moyles Jury, who takes on Benson Henderson in the main event of Bellator 227 this weekend in Dublin. And of course, uh, Moyles, this is your first uh, Bellator event. Um, I know it's very early on, but how does it feel? Are you contenting yourself with, with the new promotion? Yeah, yeah, I feel, uh, I feel at home. I really do. Uh, I feel, um, I feel the, the best I've ever felt. I feel like I'm, I'm calm. I'm relaxed. Uh, the, it's been the same process, man. You know, I'm here a couple of days before. You know, the check in, check in, meet everybody with the Bellator staff, and now here I am on media day, and uh, all, all is good. Enjoying the process. You must be happy with this matchup straight off the bat. I mean, Benson, one of the most elite lightweights in the world. Like, I mean, are, are you happy to be going in here and testing your metal against one of the best lightweights on the roster? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know, I'm at a point in my career where I want to test myself, man. I, I really want to. I want to grow. I want to get better. And uh, fighting somebody like Benson, that's that. Puts me right there. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. Benson just told us that um, had Chandler beat Pitbull that time, he, he would have been fighting Chandler in his next uh, title defense. So that's a guy that's right at the top of the food chain. He did mention that he was surprised to see Patricio <laughs> coming up from featherweight and winning that title. Were you, are you the same? Did you did you expect Chandler to be able to uh, win that fight? Yeah, I thought, I thought Chandler would win that fight. I really did. I, uh, I out of Chandler's last couple of matchups, I was uh, that was probably more the the confident matchup that I thought he would win. Is it is it difficult because you know w with Patricio being both the featherweight and lightweight champion, it could have the potential to hold up the division. Are you worried about that yet? Are you, are you do you have your eyes on that belt, or are you gonna get this fight out of the way first before you start worrying about his uh, schedule, so to speak? Yeah, you know, a, a part of me always has an eye on the belt. You know, that's obviously the main main goal, the main outlet. Um, but realistically, what the truth is, is, is I don't have any control over that. All I have to over control is just what's in front of me. And right now, I'm two days out from fighting Benson, and that's that's all I'm focused on. Do you have a big crew with you here? I see a lot of your teammates around. I mean, th there seems to be a lot of you guys here. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. We got uh, my coach Eric, uh, Jeremy Stevens came in. Uh, yeah, Nikki Nikki Pima, one of our coaches. Uh, yeah, we got we got a good little crew. Uh, I've got to ask you about Jeremy's last fight there, the, the 15 seconds in Mexico City. Um, I think everybody who knows MMA knows that Jeremy is not the kind of guy that's going to back down from a fight at all. Is it frustrating when you see that kind of talk online that you know he, some people were suggesting that he was looking for a way out of the fight, which seems the most anti-Jeremy Stevens thing in the world? Like, does, does that get to you when you see guys online talking like that about a teammate? Uh, you know, it's, it, th that, that's their, their perspective, you know what I mean? Like... It, you know, it can bug me a little bit at first, but once I kind of like I, I look at the situation, I just realize uh, pe people are gonna you know say whatever they want to say, and that's kind of like that old old school belief. You know, like if you really care what people say, then you're you're in a bad position because no matter you know whether Jeremy went out there, he got poked, or whether he went out there had a great performance and knocked him out, there's still gonna be somebody that can can talk shit about him and and, and say say some negative stuff towards him. So. Uh, I know Jeremy, and, and I know the type of person and fighter that he is, and uh, you know I, I know that's not true. Did, did it surprise to see Yair's reaction there? Like, I mean, he seemed to, you know, feel like he's taking it as a win, and in such a situation. I mean, this, is that strange to you? Because it, it seems a bit bizarre to me, to be completely honest. You know, I, I'm not surprised by by anything nowadays. You know, and uh, you know we're fighters, man. Like, you know, sometimes we get we get a little emotional. Sometimes we get a little crazy. Um, but I, my perspective of it as, hey, shit happens. You know, he got scratched in the eye, couldn't see. The uh, the referee stopped it. Let's run it back as soon as possible. That, that's my perspective. Finally, how do you see this fight with Benson playing out? Because we've seen him, you know, go for a very uh, striking-based kind of plans. And, of course, he's a fantastic grappler as well, competes all over the world in various kind of uh, grappling competitions. What kind of um, what kind of uh, fight do you expect this to be? Uh, you know, I'm prepared for it, for it to go everywhere the ground on the feet I want to feel it out when I get out there um, and I'm, I'm just gonna trust me trust you know the, the preparation and all the the training that I've put in in my life uh, is, is gonna come out in, in this fight and it's gonna be a great performance for me is there extra pressure because it's your first one with Bellator like I mean I know you're a vastly experienced man but I mean does it creep into your head at all that you know I better better impress the new empl employer so to speak you know, like uh, there, there's it's perceived pressure. Like every every fight is a big fight, and every fight there could be some type of pressure, man. And uh, no, I I really don't look at it as like 
to impress on anybody. Like, if I go out there and I fight the best fight and I, and I do my best, that's going to be the best performance that, that's going to happen for me, and that is going to impress everybody. So, no, I'm not, I'm not going out there with that mindset.